Hello and welcome to Adam Shar Weekly. In this video, I'll be talking about how to create loosely coupled views. Now, this is more of an experimentation that I've been thinking about lately. Let's take a look at our example. We have our main screen, which is our root screen or the country screen, and it has a list of the countries. And we use the country list view to display list of all the countries. If you go to the country list view, which is defined right over here, you can see that it takes in a list of countries and it simply iterates through the list of countries and display all the countries as simple text, wrapping it also with a navigation link so that when you click on a particular country, it will take you to a detail view, which in this case is only represented by a text view. Now, if I go ahead and run the application and click on any of these countries, I can go to the text view, the detail view, and it simply displays me the name of the selected country. And it works perfectly fine. But the country list view is now doing kind of like two different things. It's listing all the countries, but it is also responsible for taking the user to the destination, which is the detail view. What if I want to list the countries, but I don't want to go to this destination? Maybe I want to go to a review screen or a review view or something else or the country uh, financial screen or something else. I can't really do that. Now, obviously, there are multiple ways you can pass in a detail view to the country list view and you can pass it out over here. Or you can also use uh, the closure to send back the country and then do a navigation link or perform a navigation link based on uh, which country has been selected. So let me go ahead and show how we can do that. So in the Edge stack, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the navigation link over here. And the reason we are removing the navigation link is that we are giving the opportunity to the actual caller, which in this case is the main screen, to perform the navigation. So I'm just gonna remove this part. Uh, so now we can really navigate anywhere. You can see on the right hand side, those detailed disclosure or disclosure indicators, they are now gone. Um, so once you do this, you still have to get the selected country. So now the country list view is responsible for listing all the countries, which it is doing perfectly fine. And when we select a particular country, we should get access to that country. So for that, I'm gonna go ahead and create a closure, which will say on selected. And we are going to get access to a closure, which takes in a string and doesn't really return anything. And we are going to initialize it with something over here like this. So it has some sort of initial value. Now for the edge stack, if we click on the edge stack, so if I go over here, I can go ahead and say on tab gesture. So this is on the edge stack. We are going to go ahead and fire on selected and passing in the selected country. So passing in the country simply, all right? Okay, so now we can go back to our country list view and wherever we're using the country list view, and we are interested in doing something, instead of listing all the countries, if we want to do something when a person selects the country, we can pass in the second argument, which is on selected, which is going to give you the selected uh, country, in this case, country, in, and we can do something over here. So right over here, we can do something. So in the main screen, now we can create our private uh, state. So I'm just gonna go ahead and create a state. I'll call it private for uh, selected country, which will be a, my keyboard is a little bit messed up, but here we go. So selected country or a, simply a country, which will be an optional string. And we can say selected country equals to and simply assign it the country. All right. Now this, since this is a state property, whenever you assign this, it is going to render the view again. And what we can do is we can make use of the navigation link. So I can go ahead and add a navigation link over here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say navigation link. And one of the constructors of the navigation link is the one that takes in the destination, is active, 
and also a label. So the destination in this case will be any destination that you want. So in this case, I can simply go to a text view and I can pass in the select or self dot selected country or unwrap this or pass nothing if there's nothing there. And for the is active, uh, I can pass in dot constant value where the self dot selected country is not equal to nil. And for the actual label, meaning whatever you want to display in the navigation link, uh, we are simply going to pass in nothing, which in this case will, can be an empty view because we don't really want to display anything at that point. So it will look kind of like this. And let's go ahead and build this. All right, great. And now let's go ahead and run this. So one of the things you will notice at this point is that there are no detailed disclosures. So let me go ahead and first of all build the application. And right now it's not working. Okay, let's go ahead and use a vStack also. So I can put everything on the vStack. vStack. So vStack, here we go. And I'm just going to put everything inside the vStack. Everything comes back now. Great. And now let's go ahead and run the application and try to click on one of these selected countries. And now you can see it's actually working perfectly fine. But once it comes back, it again kind of stops and it doesn't work. And the reason it doesn't work now is that we need to reset the selected country. So we didn't really do that. So let's go ahead and reset the selected country. So I'm just going to go over here and implement on appear. And inside on appear, uh, we don't really need all of that stuff. So let's remove all of that stuff. And inside on appear, we can simply say selected country and we can assign the selected country to let's say nil. So that we are kind of like resetting it when you go back. Okay, let's do it again. I'm gonna go ahead and run the application now. And you can see that now you can go back and forth between different selected countries. We don't really have the detail or a disclosure indicator, but if you do want the disclosure indicator, you have to do it yourself though, which, which means that you can actually use some sort of an image and pass in the system image. And I believe the name of the system image is like say greater than or something. I'm just guessing over here. Uh, it might be greater than doesn't look like that it's working right now or maybe I misspelled it. System image name is greater than I believe. But you can always check it out that what the system image name is. Uh, I believe it was greater than uh, maybe I'm just misspelling it or something but we can double check on that. So T is not capital. That should hopefully do it. I'm just copying it from over here and then E. There we go. And then you can also change the opacity. So let's say opacity, uh, let's say 0 0.5 or something. And you can change the size and everything to make it a little bit more better. But you get the same behavior as before. And one of the things now is that now our views are loosely coupled. Uh, there is no navigation going on inside the country list view the navigation is now part of the caller. So this means that I can actually use the country list view somewhere completely different in a completely different screen and then go to a completely different destination. So it is not tied up with going to the same destination. So this is a good technique of creating loosely coupled views so that you are not doing any kind of a navigation inside uh, your main view or the view that is responsible for listing out the countries. So hope you like this kind of a pattern. Uh, I know that it is a little bit hard to invoke that pattern because you have to do a little bit more work. Uh, but in some cases, it can provide that flexibility of reusability and maintenance. It can become much easier to maintain uh, if for future if you are planning to reuse the country list view in other places. If you like this video and want to support my channel, then the best way would be to check out my Udemy course on SwiftUI. It is 20 plus hours of SwiftUI content and the best selling course on Udemy. You can see that we're going to start with creating and combining views, then building lists and navigation. It's even going to go into and explaining what exactly is MVVM design pattern. Next up is going to talk about how you can create a SwiftUI app integrating with core data. 
and I have a huge section which covers Swift 2.0, meaning iOS 14, changes and animations. And then we're going to learn about building a beautiful card interface using Swift UI. So check out the YouTube description for the link of this course and all of my other courses. And there's also a Patreon link. So if you just want to support every month, then you can use the Patreon link. I would greatly appreciate that. Thank you so much.